What's going on guys? This is going to be a quick video on the best settings that you can have on PC for weathering waves. Now the first thing that I noticed when I started playing this game is the sensitivity on the mouse is terrible. It's really hard to look left and right and up and down. If you go over here and you try to pick something up, it's really hard to move your character around. And I felt like the camera was zoomed in a little too far. We'll be able to fix all of those things quite easily just going in the settings. So if you're on PC, just simply press escape. Go on down to this gear cog right here. This is going to be for your volume settings. I'll go ahead and leave all these on maximum. It's pretty fine. Over here is where you could change your graphics settings. Unfortunately, right now they have the FPS locked at 60, per, 60 frames per second. That will hopefully be patched to be going back up to 120 FPS like they had in the beta. However, there was apparently some bugs with that, so they're trying to work on fixing that. Now, if you don't have a very high quality PC, you can lower the shadow quality to as low as you can go then that will help boost your performance quite a bit. Now I got a pretty decent PC, so I have all my settings maxed out. But again, if you don't have a good one, just go ahead and set everything to low and that should improve your FPS. Now, I always like to turn off motion blur whenever I play the games. This is more of a personal preference option for me, but you could go ahead and leave this on or leave this off however you prefer. Volumetric lighting just makes the game look a little bit better. All these other settings are just simple graphics settings. Super resolution, I just go ahead and leave that on. It's basically a little feature to increase your performance as well. If you're still finding yourself lagging with this, you could go ahead and change this to a performance mode that may help you boost out a little bit more quality on your gaming. But I like to just leave everything on here on auto. I got VSync on and NVIDIA Reflex is on as well. Now, here's where the settings for the gameplay are going to come into play. Right here is the horizontal view sensitivity. I have this bumped all the way up to 80 on each of them. I found this to be a very nice one. What this is, the horizontal, it's your character looking left and right. As you see, my character moves left and right quite quickly, and up and down is the vertical one. So you can adjust that as you see fit. I personally recommend 80 on each. You could go higher if you find that too slow, or you could go lower if you find that too fast. Now horizontal view sensitivity aiming, that's going to be once you get a ranged character. I haven't really gotten with a ranged character yet, but I upped that as well because I prefer to have less slow sensitivity. I don't want to have to move my mouse halfway across my desk just to shoot one enemy. So I have this at 75 for now. I may want to move that up or down later on. Camera shake intensity is exactly what it says. If you, if you find yourself getting a little nauseous playing this game or you just dislike the camera shake, you could lower that, or if you love having camera shake, you could turn that on high. Now, regular camera distance. This is going to be the biggest setting for those of you who are like, this is not enough space. I need to see more things. If you go ahead and boost this all the way up to 100 on the regular and, and the combat, look at what happens. You get way, 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 way more view on your character. Some of you guys may love to have this much view on your character, and some bosses, this may actually come in really clutch in order to see more of the area around your character. Now, when you guys first lo load the game, it's going to be all the way down to zero, so I recommend upping that to whatever you feel comfortable with. So, again, this is going to be the base setting coming out. It's going to be this close, and as you can see, there's very, very little space behind your character, which is fine. You could still play the game this way, but I feel a lot more comfortable recommending that all of you guys bump this up to at least 30 to 25 at the minimum. Anything more than that is perfectly fine as well. But I found 30 to be a very nice sweet spot. As you see, there's a decent space between me and my character, and it's not too close, not too far away. So I like it at 30. Now, if we go ahead and go on back over to these settings, we'll see what else is left. We've got camera reset. I have that set to off. Moving camera correction, I have set to on. Combat camera correction, I have also set to on. Assistive aiming, I'm a little cheater, so I have that set to on. <laughs> Input settings, the console vibration intensity. I believe that's for your controller, so I have that set to 50. I'm not really using a controller. And motion control sensitivity, again, I think this is for the controller. If you find it too slow on your controller when you're on PC, you could go ahead and up that, and that should increase that as well. Console vibration range, again, this should be for controllers. You could turn off vibration if you don't like that on your controller. Now, this is going to just be the simple key bindings for your controller. You can adjust this as you see fit, whatever is the best for you. Again, I'm using 
PC, so really it's just whatever's most comfortable for you on that. And then you have your language setting, which of course, if you want to swap to a different language, you could do so very easily. And that is pretty much it, guys. You could just go ahead and do all of those things. And again, make sure you set at least your camera distance, in my opinion, at least set that to 30. Other than that, make sure you up that sensitivity for both controller and for your horizontal and vertical. And you should be enjoying your gameplay a lot, a lot better right off the bat, guys.